Yeah, and part two of this segment is plan a variety of content formats, videos and podcasts. Uh, we want to we want to add a second segment for this because this can be a really tough uh, category to break into if you've never done it. But we're just seeing a lot of good traction out of these rich formats. You're right, video is kind of I think the giant. I feel like podcasting in the early days of podcasting, it got really hot for a while and then it cooled off. And then a few years later, it came back in a way that was really different and it hasn't let up since that resurgence. Yeah. I remember we were listening to podcasts in 2006 and 2007. Yeah. Back when po it was podcast because you had to have an when, I, when, Adam, when Adam Curry was sort of starting and created the first yeah. platform. Yeah, it was they, weird. It went up and then it went down and then went up again. You're right. It went, it went way down. When it went down, it went way down. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm here to say is that podcasting and video are now both established. They're both yeah. here to stay. And I would say, like you said, we're, you know, we're watching for whatever the next thing is over the hill, you know, VR experience. So, yeah. So um, in this in this segment, what I want to share is a couple of ideas on how to get started. So videos and podcasts, it can be overwhelming. So, number one, uh, yeah, you already have a video production studio in your pocket. Uh, just remember, turn that thing sideways and get a landscape view. Uh, next up is um, don't get caught up in thinking things need to be heavily produced. This is especially true with video. I think a lot of people, you often need a professional, but there's a lot of video content that can be more ephemeral. For example, social media posts where you just say, hey, you know, we're uh, in the new uh, dermatology office. We're really excited to be opening this new location. Uh, here's what the office looks like. Here's the friendly staff. Here's what you can expect. And um, coming up this week, we've got, you know, this new service that we're offering and we want you to know about it. Reach out to us today. So that's sort of ephemeral content. You really can produce that in a very lo-fi kind of way and get started so that people are able to cross that barrier of understanding who you are, what kind of experience they're going to have. A lot of the things that you can accomplish with a picture you can go a lot further and faster with video mm -hmm. and it doesn't all have to be professionally produced and part of a real sophisticated plan. Uh, and as long as you're not doing harm or violating any of your, you know, your commitments or, you know, whatever, you know, like, I don't know, you know, not showing a, uh, you know, customer's face or, you know, violating somebody's HIPAA, you know, as long as you're kind of using just common sense, um, then uh, these these smaller kinds of videos can be out there for a while and then you can take them down if you kind of shift strategies and get better at over time. So yeah. I think with video, the way to think about it is just start doing it. And then we've really, I, Chris, I've really enjoyed podcasting with you. We, this yeah. is our second podcast. We replaced um, a search primer podcast, which was audio only with this video format when, uh, you know, when we shifted over to this location and had a, a better place to shoot. But I would say with podcasting, think in terms of, um, I, I would say there are a couple of hacks for getting started with this. Number one, don't put yourself in a category with any celebrity podcasters where you feel like you're competing with them. You don't, you're not Oprah and you don't have to be, uh, <laughs> you don't have to be Joe Rogan to get into this. You, you, there's an audience out there for any subject, any subject yeah. matter. And if you have like a B2B, uh, sales process that you manage and you're doing really technical work or you have an industry or you have a geographic region for your business, then all of the work that you do to produce content to kind of connect with your audience, that's going to work. It may be a small audience, but if there's any audience at all, anything above zero, it's going to be, it's going to connect over time. I would go into it with the idea of a minimum of 12 episodes. So like one a month for a year before you have any decision about whether or not it's working. And then I would say for any video strategy, very similar, you know, think in terms of a batch of, hey, we're going to produce one video a month until we have a video on our homepage and one on each of our service pages. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kind of do, you know, the most important things first. And then we're going to get into some topical video. So with podcasts or video, either of these richer formats that are harder to get started with, I would say uh, lower the threat level by thinking in terms of an initial test batch of 12 that's going to be published over a year as a test before you put pressure on yourself to, right. to look at the metrics. Yeah.